One ball and no strikes. Aaron waiting. The outfield deep and straight away. Fastball is a high drive into deep left center field. Buckner goes back to the fence. It is gone. On August 3rd of this year, Vince Scully passed away. Vince Scully was a legendary announcer for the baseball team, the Los Angeles Dodgers. And there were many accolades and testimonials bestowed on Vince, and rightly so. One of the things that struck me is a lot of people talked about his humility. And they gave a couple examples. He was the announcer when Sandy Koufax, the famous baseball player, pitcher, uh, pitched his perfect game. And he also was a broadcaster when Hank Aaron hit his 715th home run. And both times when those experiences happened, he was silent. He let the crowd speak for itself. He let the noise and the just observe. And I think that shows a lot of humility because he could have stepped in, he could have tried to talk about it and say what was going on, but he really let the silence uh, take care of itself and let the people and the crowd and, and what was happening there actually uh, happen and people got to see it happen. And that happens with people with humility. And there was a guy named Matt Schumann who is a um, PR person for an organization called Crunchbase, talked about how people with humility are great listeners and people with arrogance are not. And uh, it was all about how Ben Scully actually uh, handled himself both on and off his broadcasting responsibilities. I think that's a great lesson for executives because there's times where we need to listen more than we need to talk. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this for what it's worth.